Symptoms of Diabetes, Polyphagia Among three most common symptoms of diabetes, polyurinate, polyphagia and polydipsia, polyphagia, which means the excessive hunger, has become the most visible and most scared symptom. People would be more aware of polyphagia, because this symptom can often lead to other complications, rather than to diabetes only. Polyphagia comes from two Greek words, poly which means a lot or too much and a, phagia, which means meal or food. If you experience polyphagia, you will often feel a crave for food, although you just had your meal, and it may become an indication that you suffer from either pre-diabetes, diabetes mellitus or diabetes type 2. Although people with polyphagia are susceptible to suffer other diseases, rather than just diabetes such as bulimia, anorexia or eating disorder, syndrome of Prader-Willi, compulsive eating, and also clean syndrome or hypothalamus disorder, this sign has most commonly recognized as one of symptoms of diabetes. Why polyphagia can occur as one of the symptoms of diabetes? When people are told, that one of the symptoms of diabetes is polyphagia, almost 90% of them would wonder why. Rarely are people aware that when they experience excessive food starvation they might be suffering diabetes. Polyphagia can occur as one of the symptoms of diabetes for the following reasons. 1. Intracellular starvation. There are two reasons why polypagia becomes one of the symptoms of diabetes. The first reason is called intracellular starvation or excessive cell hunger. If you suffer diabetes, there is low, if not no insulin activity, to stimulate cells to process glucose so the cells will be suffering from glucose hunger. Body cells will always need glucose and command the brain to get more glucose. Brain will then command the diabetic sufferers to eat more and more too. Glucose at theory of feeding regulation. The other reason why polyphagia occurs as the symptoms of diabetes is that because there is feeding regulation done by the glucose. In this glucose at theory, glucose arteriovenous difference between the feeding centers and hypothalamic satiety controls the feeding response. Whenever the difference increases due to the more utilized glucose, the satiety center will be activated. However, if the difference decreases, it is the feeding center which will be activated. In diabetes cases, it is hard for glucose to move to the satiety center due to insulin absence or insulin resistance. When it happens, the arteriovenous difference will stay low so automatically the feeding center will be activated which triggers excessive hunger. How to deal with polyphagia? Once you feel that you have excessive hunger, you should not always conclude that you have diabetes because many factors can affect it. Don't panic and think that the world has come to the end for you by being a diabetic person. Just like mentioned in the previous discussions, excessive starvation is not always a symptom of diabetes, but it can be a symptom of other diseases, hormonal changes and even it can be a symptom of nothing, because metabolism in different people is also different too. What is best to do when you experience polyphagia is finding the proper food alternatives to satisfy your hunger without creating new problems. Try to avoid food with high carbohydrate and sugar, and eat food with high fiber and vitamins such as fruit and vegetables. Nothing to worry too much because feeling worried or stressful will eventually increase the glucose level in your blood. Checking the blood sugar level is also advised to see whether the excessive hunger you experience is really a symptom of diabetes or caused by other problems. For more information about symptoms of diabetes visit www.cure4diabetes.co.uk